what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to fix windows update error error 0x800703060 and update kb5074109 so let's get started as you can see guys i have already uh, installed this update on my windows 11 security update kb5074109 close it first and go to search bar and type your cmd uh, go to command prompt right click on it run as administrator now we use this command line this one uh, disk c copy this one you can copy this command line from the video description copy and right click on it add it and paste so wait for some time here minimum 10 or 15 minutes Now click on next here you can see windows update. Now here you can see uh, it's still working. So wait for some time here and this one. Now here pending system changes so uh, click on next and uh, wait for some time. But in your case uh, you can face another error. So follow the instructions while detecting additional problems, checking for pending restart here. And here you can see and this one successfully 100% and wait for some time here. Now here verification complete 100% and here a problem found, check for pending restart and check for windows update issues. Did we fix your problem? Click on yes. If your problem did not solve, then click on no. But in my case, I click on yes. Close the troubleshooter. And okay. Window resources, protection found, corrupted files, and successfully repaired them. Now close it. Go to search bar on the windows and type here services. Go to system services and scroll down uh, but go to app redness here right click on it and go to properties start that disabled apply and stop it okay and background intelligent transfer service go to properties and start type disabled and apply and stop it click ok and scroll down so go to windows update here right click on it go to properties startup type disabled and apply and stop it now go to this pc open it go to local disk c and windows folder scroll down and delete software distribution folder right click on it and hit delete if you stuck here while deleting the folder then go to the windows and click on stop and try again to delete the folder so successfully deleted the folder after deleting close it and go to windows update service so startup type should be on automatic after deleting the folder apply and start it again now okay scroll up go to background intelligent transfer service right click on it properties startup type should be on automatic apply and start it again now click OK and go to App Readiness, Properties and start type automatic, apply and start it. OK, now close it and uh, go to Startup and restart your PC now. After restarting your PC and check for updates. If you are still facing the issue, then I have another solution and turn off this option here. Turn it off. Go to search bar on your Windows. Type your control panel. Go to control panel system. And go to category. Here category. And uninstall a program. And turn Windows feature on or off. Now scroll down. And make sure you have installed Net Framework 3.5. And after this. 
go to Windows Sandbox, disable it, and check this option. Click OK. Wait for some time. Applying changes. Now restart your PC. After restarting your PC, try again. Check for updates. If you're still facing the issue, then I have another solution. Go to search bar on your Windows, type here CMD. Go to command prompt, right click on it, run as administrator. Now copy this command first, this one. And right click on it, add it and paste. Now here press enter on your keyboard. Now uh, go to this PC, open it, local disk C, and show higher and items, view, show higher and items, go to program data, and go to Microsoft, go down, and go to network folder, download a folder, and delete this file, this one. Uh, right click on it and go to properties here you can see dot db file okay so this is a jm file so you need to delete this one dot db hit delete make sure you are deleting this file dot db okay now hit delete now close it now use this command you can copy these command lines from video description copy this one and right click on it add it and paste now press enter on your keyboard so success and uh, go to another command this one use this command copy and right click on it, add it and paste. Now press and turn your keyboard. Now use this command line here, hold down. You need all these one. You can copy these uh, DLL files command lines from the this website of Microsoft. Type here Windows Update Additional Resources and go to this Microsoft website. DLL files, uh, this one, okay. Uh, do not copy this command, okay. Now, right click on it, add it and paste. So, uh, DLL succeeded, okay, 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 okay. Click okay, okay. Now scroll down, press enter here, now copy this one, uh, this one, this command, go to command, prompt, right click on it, add it and paste, press enter, and you must restart computer in order to complete the reset. Now, use this command, this one, copy, and uh, right click on it, add it and paste. Now press and turn your keyboard. Okay, now close it and uh, go to startup. And restart your PC now. After restarting your PC, check for updates. Solution number three. If you still facing the issue, then I have another solution. Go to search bar on your Windows. Tap here MS Config. Go to System Configuration. Go to Services. 
despite all Microsoft services. Check this option, disable all and apply. You can enable these services later after installation the update of your Windows 11. But this time you need to disable all services and OK and the restart your PC now. After restarting your PC, check for updates. After installation of the update, you can re-enable the services from your Windows services. Right, all Microsoft services, enable all and apply and OK and restart your PC now. I hope this tutorial helps you. Please subscribe the channel, like the video.